Howdy folks, how's it going? Greetings from Portland, Oregon. It is a gloriously beautiful day, as you can see. I am here at the house where I am house-sitting now. I just arrived a couple of days ago. Um, flew in from Denver, Colorado. So this is the house that is my legal address um, in the United States over the course of my travels the past seven, eight years or whatever that I've been using the address of a friend here. And she is gone for the next couple of weeks uh, at the Women's World Cup uh, soccer tournament in uh, Canada, in Vancouver. And so she invited me to um, house it while she's gone here. So it's great to be back in Portland. I lived here for six years before. Um, and I know the city well. I was a delivery driver here. Um, I've done a lot of exploring around, hiking, swimming, uh, lakes, rivers, and uh, Mount Hood, where I uh, was cross-country skiing six years ago, winter and spring of 2009, and that is uh, how my YouTube channel got started. I'd just gotten a digital camera and just taken little ski videos of me uh, tootling around in the snow there. So that is going to be the adventure today without the skiing, um, but I'm going to head up to Mount Hood. Mount Hood is um, famous for a few different reasons. One is that Timberline Lodge is on the uh, side of it. It is a historic building that was uh, built in the 1930s, and it is the um, building that was used in the movie The Shining uh, featuring Jack Nicholson. Uh, the exterior of the building is the, um, you know, sort of shot of where they're located in that film. I haven't actually seen that. Um, it is also famous for being a place that you can ski during the summer because of the glacier that is on the side of it. Um, and so downhill skiing, the resort is open through the summer. Um, but uh, I'm not going to ski or anything. I'm going to hop in this uh, rig here. This is my friend Sharon's um, truck who, who uh, lives in the house here. And just going to head that direction, see what I find. I don't really know exactly what the conditions are going to be, but on a day like this, you can't really go wrong. So here we go. So that mountain there is Mount Tabor. Mount Tabor is a extinct volcano in the middle of Portland here. And my apartment uh, that I lived in, one of the apartments I lived in, is on the other side of Mount Tabor there. Mount Hood is uh, east of Portland, about 40 to 50 miles. Could I have a regular uh, size strawberry shake with whipped cream, no cherry? And a Tillamook cheeseburger, please. All right. All right, it is milkshake time. Oh yeah. All right, check it out, folks. There it is, Mount Hood. Tallest mountain in Oregon at 11,249 feet. Gonna be a little bit of a drive to get there, though. What a sight. I can see the uh, ski lift going up the side there. Pretty awesome. Yeehaw, check that out. Absolutely stunning. There are going to be some amazing views in every direction. I can see one of the uh, snow capped peaks of the Cascades me there. I'm not sure which one that is. Might be Mount Jefferson or something, but going to uh, hike up as far as I can up that uh, mountain there. Well, maybe not as far as I can. I could probably go to the top if I was feeling kind of uh, slightly insane, but I'm not going to go for that. Just going to get some awesome views. Enjoy this gorgeous sunny day. And so here's the entrance to Timberline Lodge, built from 1936 to 1938. If you've seen the movie The Shining, this might look familiar. A nice shot of the Cascades here. And 
and then I'll just do a quick little walk through of the lodge here show this incredibly beautiful and very sturdy structure as you can see restaurant and lodging. Here we go. So we're at 6,000 feet. Summit of Mount Hood, 11,245. So I was off by four feet before. So I think I said 11,249. Pretty close anyway. Tamaran Lodge to Summit, only 3.6 miles. So that's doable. Maybe I'll do it. A different day. It's uh, like 3 in the afternoon now, so we're a bit of a late start. Mount Jefferson, so that's probably that, uh, you know, higher snowy peak that I was seeing from there. Alright, gonna head outside. So here's the back side of the lodge. Some awesome wildflowers here. And there's Mount Hood. Just going to follow this trail here. I can see the uh, ski lift up there that uh, is partly in the snow and partly bare ground below it. So I guess no uh, skiing happening. At this time, maybe there's another glacier where they're still skiing. Because it's supposed to be possible to ski all summer here, but it would obviously depend on the season. So, not sure what the deal is with that. Um, but just gonna hike on up, see how high I can get up there, and uh, check out the views. Oh yeah, what a sight. So I've definitely been through this whole area on cross-country skis back when I was living in Portland last in 2009. Then I would come up here, I had a cross-country ski set. And so I would come up here and just tootle around without you know paying for a lift ticket or anything. And I remember at one point, as that guy said the lifts close at two, probably in the winter they close at four or something, but I remember being up here after the lifts had closed and coming down that slope there on my skis with nobody else around. And then I would ski all through this area. It all looks different because it had snow all over it then, of course. I would go all up through there and stuff. I was coming up here like every week or something like that. Drive up and ski around. There we go. So that must be Mount Jefferson out there. And there's the lodge. Can they keep on hiking? Try to get a little higher up. Get some even nicer views. feet or so it doesn't look all that far to the peak from here but 
It's all uphill, obviously, and it's 11,245 feet, so that's another 4,200 feet to go. So uh, I'm sure that is an intense hike to get up to the peak, but even more spectacular views. But this is good enough for now. Got a nice taste of Mount Hood and the Cascade Mountains on a spectacular day in June. So I will be posting lots more videos from Oregon and uh, Washington State as well. Probably might go to Mount St. Helens, Crater Lake. We'll see over the next couple of weeks. So feel free to subscribe and uh, generally stay tuned for lots more exciting Pacific Northwest adventures. Take care. Happy trails.